the more I looked at them, the more I realized it's kind of like elegance meets steampunk, and that's what I loved about them. I thought it'd be fun to check out these uh, Utopia pickups by DiMaggio. As you guys know, this is a, a series of videos I'm doing, 50 videos. I'm checking out 50 different sets of pickups using my Somnium TS3 guitar that allows me to install pickups in minutes. And so I thought these would be important because uh, I'm a huge Steve fan. These came out this year for 2020. And I gotta admit, they look really cool. Now you can get them with the black background, pink or white backgrounds, and a matching strap if you wanna order one of those. Of course, I use the DiMaggio strap locks uh, for about 90% of my guitars, if not more. And I love the way this looks. In fact, the strap alone is what sold it for me. But Let's get into these pickups. I want to give you some sound samples. I have it wired up so I can coil split them as well. And uh, let's get into that. First, I'll start with a uh, dirty tone on the amp. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Now, what I love about them is they have a very vintage vibe. They're medium output pickups, which means they're not high gain and they're definitely not vintage. They're in the middle, but they have the vintage vibe. But one of the things I don't like about vintage pickups is even though they have these sparkling clean highs that I love and the lows are really warm, sometimes they're mid scooped and these are definitely not mid scooped. These are definitely mid pushed. So what's great about that on single notes, <laughs> they kind of pop out. They really ha have a, a way of kind of resonating with the amp. Now, if you coil split them, watch this. I feel like the coil split on these worked out great because it doesn't get too thin and it's still snappy. And if we run a little bit more gain, Another thing I love is that on the neck pickup, it gets warmer, but it doesn't get muddy at all. It's very clear. In fact, I could actually use the neck pickup or the bridge for almost anything I'm playing. I'm going to compare them. So here's the bridge. <laughs> So I feel like the neck pickup does what I want a neck pickup to do, which is just take the pick attack off the sound. <laughs> So again, sweetens up the little tone a little bit, warms it up a little bit, but again, takes that pick attack off. And then of course, in the single coil mode on the neck, you definitely get that kind of just sounds Fantastic. So let's go ahead and show you some higher gain. This is with a tube screamer. Let's kick it a tube screamer and a delay. Here we go. <laughs> Now with higher gain, you would expect that the uh, it would intensify a lot of the frequencies in the pickups, especially the bass on the neck pickup. But watch this. We're going to go to the bridge. The neck pickup. Normally, I stay away <laughs> from big chords on the uh, on the neck pickup when I'm running a lot of gain. Maybe I'll use it for solo. <laughs> From this, it just 
just sonically changes pick attack and of course a little bit of the frequency response because of where the placement of the pickups are. They sound really good. In fact, I would definitely put this in my all time five, best five pickups out there. Uh, out there. And of course, we'll probably at the end of the series, I'll do my top five pickups for sure. So. What else can I show you? Clean, let's go to the clean channel on the amp. We're gonna use a little bit of reverb and start with the neck pickup. Let's compare the neck humbucker to the single coil. Now, of course, on the single coil, on the uh, clean tone, you're gonna hear a big difference in the thickness of the note. But that's okay because, again, you want it to be a little thinner so it sounds more like a Stratocaster. Now, in the middle position, this is where I think it shines. Uh, I'll show you the two humbuckers in the middle position. And then last, of course, the bridge. And this is usually where, again, kind of like with the neck pickup on the distortion on this, uh, I would on the say on the bridge and the clean is not something I would normally prefer, but this bridge seems to hold together pretty well. So what did I learn from checking out these pickups? I figured out that for a pickup that's supposed to be a Steve Vai, Jim style guitar pickup, it's probably one of the most versatile pickups I've ever played. Um, I would actually say this would fit perfectly in a Les Paul and all the way to an Ibanez, you know, Jim or even a Stratocaster. If you want a single coil, uh, vintage tone, you'll get it. If you want the vintage tone, you'll get it. If you need something to push the amp, you'll get that. This is what's great about this video series. I'm doing 50 of these videos. This is episode number four, which means we can do other pickups. We can do these pickups again. If you're curious how they sound with the single coil, I would love to do a video demonstration of that and wire it up so that I can demonstrate the uh, the pickups with the, the true way it's set up to be, which is HSS. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, give it a thumbs up, maybe share and like it. If you have suggestions for pickups you'd like to hear on the series, let me know. And as always, I want to thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Until the next time, know your gear.